What's up? My name's Matt, and this is Pasteboard Review. Today, we're looking at the Deedlin's Daisy Deck by Penguin Magic. Check it out. All right, so it looks like we got a uh, nice, perfect little pull tab right there. Way to go, penguin. So the tuck case looks like it is printed on like vintage cardstock style paper, but it is just a standard glossy tuck. But it does have cool details there. Um, it is this maroon red color. Let's see if you can see that up here. Very cool color there. And we have all these little waves around the edges, the daisies, and the Half moons on the back. 100 years edition, 1919 to 2019. Made in America. Cool little stamp there for the seal. Let's uh, check these out. It's nothing inside the tuck case, just standard white there. And we're greeted with a Joker here. That is cool. So we got matching jokers but one of them is colored and one is not so we can do a cool little color change with that very interesting very you can you can tell this was hand drawn a hundred years ago very cool very cool Print, printing press looking we have looks like it comes in a stack definitely if you can see that right there Definitely comes in a stack. I'm not going to tell you what stack, but you should be able to figure it out by now. So, we also have a card here that says how this deck is marked. Because this is a 100 year old deck that used to be marked, and they brought in the guy who helped DMC do his deck to reimagine the marking system in here. So, if you keep it in the stack, you can do ridiculous amounts of tricks with this. This is going to take some time to learn, I think, for me. It looks like it can tell me identity, it can tell me the next card in the stack, it can tell me the number of cards above this card. If someone were to cut, I can tell how many cards are in someone's hand. It tells me the number of cards left in a deck. That's cool. So, boom, they can take this card here, and then I can tell them how many cards are left under their cut previous card so if they cut here and I just show them I can know what that card is man this is insane very cool that it comes with this card so we have two jokers one ad card is there another ad card here yes we have blank facer awesome and that's it so very cool I love the no borders I love how that all bleeds together I don't think I don't think that that plays into, kind of like the butterflies, I don't think that the edges play into anything. Man, that's so much information, that's insane. So, but look how that spreads, that looks so cool. Little flower trails and everything, that looks incredible. Just as a deck to have in your pocket to do magic with, that just looks unreal. Almost like snakeskin. All right, let's look at our court cards, because obviously these are 100-year-old court cards. These are not going to be our standard bicycle-looking ones. So we have hand-drawn everything. There's our jack. We can keep these in a stack, so I'm just going to go through and show you. Got our queen. Very cool. Even the numbers, you can see how they were, like, done on a printing press, and there's, like, the three is all smudged there like it was on a typing machine, but this three is, like, thinner love that so much detail even the like center pips look at those if you can see I'm gonna see how close I can get they are all hand-drawn slightly different 
just incredible. There's our king. Very cool. Man, there's so much like, this is like the style, like these pips, you can see there's little little holes in them, like it's hand drawn with ink and they're both different. People want this style nowadays and it's like, just hand drawn. It's the only way. So much detail too, look at that. Awesome. I don't know, obviously this deck is made for magicians, so I don't know if they put any reveals or if they updated any of the faces. I kind of feel like they probably wouldn't update the faces just because it's a hundred year anniversary. Now look at that Ace of Spades, that's super cool. Got a baseball in the middle, all of that detail, hand drawn, unbelievable. Better Jack. Just such a cool deck. Got Queen of Hearts there. A rose. Very cool. If there was one card that would have a reveal, I would assume that would have been it. So, doesn't look like there is. But the Killing King. Very cool. Hard. <laughs> this guy looks a little pissed off. Ugh. My life is so difficult. Ugh. Very cool. And the Queen. What's cool is these are all hand drawn too. So, every single Queen, every single face card is totally different from each other, no, none are identical. His mustache, if you look at the bottom face there, it looks like he's smiling, but if you look at the top face and he's just like, no, I'm just super serious. Very cool. I mean, look at this spread right here. It's like snakeskin. Incredible. Love that. You can see like the three is just looks like it was just typewriter stamped on or ink splattered when he drew the three. And it looks like every three they might have used a stamp or something like that because every three here you can see is the same. The pip on each three. But if we spin it around, it's a different three. Is it like that on all of them? Yeah. So it looks like maybe two different stamps or two different hand-drawn traced things or maybe this isn't exactly the same as how it was a hundred years ago and they updated with the coolest looking who knows I don't know I mean okay so 100 year anniversary you should definitely have this in your collection this is an awesome cool deck of cards as a magician why wouldn't you look how unassuming that looks Oh hey, I got this old vintage deck I found in my grandma's drawer. Even this looks, you know, whatever. And then miracles. Unbelievable miracles. So cool. They handle incredibly well. They're not quite as chalky as a bicycle deck would be opening it up, but they are still a little, they need to be broken in probably for an hour of playing with them. Or 20 minutes of just straight up craziness. I'm trying to see if, if I change the cut order, if this all changes, or if it's just inconsistencies within the printing process. You can see how it just has that weird... That's what makes me think there might be something there like a butterfly deck would be, but I don't think there is. Because a butterfly deck, you just do that and you know a, a ton of stuff. And I can't see anything there. As a collector, you definitely need it. As a magician, why wouldn't you use these? These look so cool. And so, no one's no one's looking at that and going like, you know everything about every card in this deck by looking at this one card. Yeah, right. But you do. That's what's crazy. So, collector, do it. Magician, definitely do it. Cardist, there are no borders. Doing some cool, like, even like, I mean, I can't do a little pulse spread perfectly yet, but I mean, the S pulse spread, like, how cool would that look if you could, like, if you were better than me? Look at that. How cool would that be? Even that. Oh, it looks just so cool. So, yeah, uh, go to Penguin Magic, get one. Daisy deck. There's also the Nifty deck. 
My dog's name is Daisy, so that's why I got this one instead. I tried to get the deluxe pack with, I think the deluxe pack had gilded edges and everything. I tried to get that. I saw it, put it in my cart. We went to dinner, I came home, and they were sold out. No! Should have just done it before we left, but couldn't do it. Well, that is all I have for the Daisy deck by Penguin Magic and D-Lint's 100 year anniversary. Very cool deck. Wish I could get more. If these weren't so expensive, I would think about using these as a daily carry deck for Magic, because that's just so much information. So I will see you next week with another deck review. Bye.